Today I'm on Madrid to present the data about the SADAL study uh, with Selinexor in relapse or refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma. As you know, the diffuse large B cell lymphoma can be cured by uh, chemoimmunotherapy as Earthshop. Uh, a significant fraction of these patients fail or relapse after the first line of treatment, and only a small of them can be cured by a salvage regimen, platinum uh, plus stem cell transplantations. For the patients uh, in relapsed or in failure after the second line of treatments, uh, there are less uh, consensus among the experts on the salvage therapy. Um, <laughs> on salvage therapy, um, and the outcome of these patients is very poor with an overall survival less than six months. Um, exporting one is the major nuclear proteins that transport uh, several proteins from the nucleus to, to the cytoplasm, such as uh, tumor suppressor proteins of uh, oncoprotein mRNA, XPO1 induced tumor proliferation signal and drug resistance. Uh, XPO1 overexpression in diffuse large B cell lymphoma as be shown uh, in several studies. For example, 60% uh, of heavily pretreated lymphomas uh, have more than 70% of XPO1 cells positive determined by immunohistochemistry. Selinexor is a newer well, small molecule, first in class inhibitor of XPO1, and induce uh, growth arrest and apoptosis in cancer cells. Uh, Selinexor demonstrated an activity in several um, diffuse large B cell lymphoma in the phase one study, and the response uh, of Selinexor uh, were durable. Um, we conducted in phase two B uh, randomized study to compare two doses of, of Selinexor, 60 mg versus uh, 100 mg, in patients with relapsed or refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma. The study is stratified uh, by cells of origin subgroups, GC or non-GC. The primary endpoint of this study is the overall um, response rate, and the secondary endpoints are uh, the durations of response, the overall survival, and the safety. Uh, the main inclusions, exclusions criteria uh, are that the patients must be have more than 18 years old, uh, uh, clinical or radiographic evidence of progressive disease, um, at least, uh, but no more five previ previous treatments, at least 14 weeks from the last therapy, and the patient cannot have any significant organ failure, neutropenia, and thrombocytopenia. 200 patients will be included in the study between December 2014 to April 2017, time of interim analyze. 90 patients have been included uh, in the study, 46 in the arm 60 mg and 44 in the arm 100 mg. Sinenexo is, give, is given uh, twice a week, uh, 28 days cycle until disease progressions or unacceptable toxicity. The main side effects are grade 1 or 2 in severity and can be managed by supportive care or dose reduction or discontinuation. Uh, the grade 3 or 4 side effects as nausea, fatigue, uh, weight loss and thrombocytopenia were most frequent in the arm 100 mg in comparison to the arm 60 mg. The response is evaluated according to Lugano criteria by and reviewed by an independent committee radiologic review for the first 63 patients included in the study. And the overall response rate is 33% um, across both dosing groups and sets of origin subtypes. The overall survival for all patients uh, is eight months, as expected for these heavily pretreated uh, patients. And uh, it was less than five months uh, for the non responders patients, 7.6 months for the patients in their arms 100 mg, 12 months for the patients in their arms 60 mg, and not yet reached for the patients' responders. 
Like in conclusion, Selinexor is a first-in-class inhibitor XPO1 and demonstrates activity in heavily pretreated uh, lymphomas with an overall response rate of 33%. The response rates uh, were um, in subgroups, uh, those uh, sub, uh, subtypes of uh, GC or non-GC or double or triple hip lymphomas, and the response were durable for the patient's uh, responders. Um, the main side effect, like grade 1 or 2 in severity, can be managed by supportive care. The mainly uh, grade 3 or 4 side effect is thrombocytopenia. And 60 mg is better tolerated than 100 mg. And based on a toxicity profile and signal efficacy, uh, the, the arm of this study, 100 mg closed. And um, the study is still ongoing for 90 patients in the arm, 60 mg.